feel like Melania right now. I think you could do it legally. Um, silent, silent. Now, now here's Melania. Yeah. Now don't bring up the president to I say so. And she has her own uh, anti-marriage views. Is that safe to say? And I, you know, I'm fiercely single, fiercely a bachelor, etc. And so I came up with the, I think, brilliant uh, plan for for my mindset. Instead of signing a contract that is essentially endless, and then you go get a divorce, whatever, that. We have to treat these animate and 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 emotional and and life pulsating moments the same way we do inanimate uh, uh, subscriptions, whether it's a Netflix subscription or a magazine <laughs> subscription. All right? What do we do? We opt. We opt in. They expire. You have to renew. You got a domain name. You got to renew that bad bad boy every year, every two years, whatever. I think we need to step back, take the emotion out of emotion, and really commit to the reality of relationships, which is you agree to get married to somebody in any context, but you say this will expire on this day, whether it's a year or three years or five years, whatever whatever the, the period, your, your term limit is. And if both of you do not go back in and re-up, resubscribe legally, sign those papers, that marriage ends. So my take on this is that uh, the psychological side effect of that is that things that are due to expire, you appreciate more. Absolutely. So I think there are more healthy relationships to be had when there is an expiration date. So all that stuff he said, you know, blah blah blah. Blah but, blah blah. Um, I, I think a lot of I, I don't want to stereotype them, but I think a lot of men feel trapped by their relationships and this, you know, oh I can never be with anyone else. With this with this option for an end point, a lot of that takes care of. That's true. A lot of the it's and almost it's not like, like women don't have that too, you know, like, you know, oh my god, that fireman, hello, he's amazing. Right. Yeah. Know, yeah. Um, women are just as dirty as men. That's all she said. Whether you subscribe to or subscribe to uh, a civil union or a common law marriage or a traditional marriage or a pagan marriage or a Christian marriage, I think it's unnatural, biologically unnatural to sort of create create a a lifelong marriage. I don't think that's natural. Because women get pregnant. By contract. Well women get pregnant for nine months. Guys can regenerate, so to speak, within hours, right? So I think naturally and biologically guys are supposed to go and repopulate the earth with somebody else. Just from a natural standpoint. But but from a human psycho psychology, emotions evolve. Emotions form connections that that cloud that natural instinct, right? So the animal instinct. Um, by having that end date, you remove that automatic angst of like wanting to break out of something. Right. Because you know there's an expiration, you're like, look, this is gonna be over in six months anyway. I just have to deal with this bitch three more years. Right, but, and so by removing that angst, it's an artificial angst, right? It's, 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 it creates the angst by its very existence. So with the expiration, it removes an unnatural angst. And you realize, it's, I think this is progressive. Well, this is like creating a whole new system. I, do, I will, I mean, if, I don't even think, but I think it can be done legally today. I think oh, both parties sure should, it can. right, so it doesn't need to change the system. But the prenup. Yeah, I think the prenup saying, look, this will end, period. Sure. Under these, under these guidelines. You know, I'm sure someone else has probably already it's done it. It's going to be an amazing reality show. Yeah, I, but. I mean. I mean, it's I'm perfect. a fiercely, you know, I'm fiercely single, I'm, I'm a fierce bachelor, 
a, a, a lifelong bachelor. And he really loves to say that. I'm bad at talking from a female perspective. Because is your hair darker? It looks lovely. Yeah, it's getting darker by the second. Wow. Ah, okay. It's contagious. Yeah. Um, racist. That's racist. Yeah. Um, if you're getting bald, what, too, I believe. I think it. that most women um, need a little. I'm here with you, commitment kind of ceremony kind of thing, or this is, I'm committed to you. So maybe, yeah. maybe some women need a forever kind of thing, but I don't think so. I think probably a lot of women would thrive off of that kind of environment where they were like, oh, he is committed to me for this period of time. I think that's meaningful. Women don't ever get that. They're like, okay, it's Valentine's Day, it's my birthday, whatever. Year eight, let's go out. They don't really know. This is a wonderful compromise because the guy recommitting every so often, whatever period you agree on, he's actually signing away, proving. Forget words. You could say three words and ad nauseum. But the guy who signs and says, I want three more years, for three years, six years, nine years, I argue is far more impactful than just playing the game of saying I'm with her yeah. you know what I mean so I'm with her I'm signing up for absolutely but is your hair darker yeah sun it's reflecting <laughs> racist right my hair is getting lighter Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. This to me indicates an active choice to continue. A, a, a commit. To me it underscores more of a commitment than just saying, I signed this piece of paper, ran a piece of paper 10 years ago and I'm just I'm just pushing through because of my belief system or my parents or my legal system, whatever. I think it's more romantic, I think it's more realistic, and I think it's more beautiful to have people continually, every few years, recommit to the relationship that they committed to initially. That's my plan.